What emergency drills did you have as you were growing up in school? Fire drills and tornado drills. And that was it. So can you tell me exactly what happens in active shooter drills? The teacher is supposed to lock the door, turn the lights off, and push this big desk behind the door. And the first time I did an active shooter drill, I saw her having a hard time with this, so I decided to come help her. Because if she doesn't get the desk on the door in time, the intruder can open it. So what do you do next after you push the table? The class is supposed to stand on the back wall, but I decided to stand in front of the class because I want to take the bullet and save my friends. So did your teacher ask you to stand in front of the class? No. My life matters, but it's kind of like there is one person that can come home to the family or there can be 22 people that come home to the family. Do you know why it's hard for me to accept that? Because I'm such a young age, I shouldn't really be giving my life up. Like, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Right. If there's any a time that I want you to be selfish, it's then. I need you to come home. So, would you still stand in front of your friends, even with me telling you not to? <laughs> yes. I get that you would want me to come home, but it's really not a choice that you can make. It's a choice to have to make. I see now that there's nothing I can say that would change your mind. I just hope that it never comes to that. Talking about this makes me feel sad, but you raised a good person. And this is why I can't have the conversation with you. You keep saying things like that, and I'm speechless. You're 10, and you're that 10-year-old who doesn't clean their room, and... <laughs> There is no handbook for this. This is why the conversation always ends between you and I and dead silence. Because I'm a mother. And I don't know what to say. <laughs>